Welcome! This is another Frequently Asked Question canning video and today we're going to explore elevation. It's important to know the elevation of where you live so you can process, be it water bath canning or pressure canning, correctly. And today we're going to answer the following questions. Why is your altitude important when you're canning? Where do you find the altitude where you live? Is there a difference between a weighted gauge canner and a dial gauge canner, depending on your elevation? Does your elevation matter when water bath canning? What is the default listed for most pressure canning recipes? And what is the five pound on your weight ever used for? Hey Resilient Citizens, Prepper Potpourri here with another canning frequently asked question video. If you're not a subscriber, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button and the bell icon button so you don't miss a future canning video. And if you're interested in more canning frequently asked question videos, I have the playlist listed in the description below this video. So why is your altitude, you know, your elevation important when canning? Well, it's science. You know, we've all learned that water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that's true. Only if you are in elevations below a thousand feet above sea level. The air grows thinner and thinner the higher you go and that causes water to boil at lower temperatures. And you still need your canning to be boiled at 212 degrees. So just because if you're at higher temperatures and you see it boiling, it doesn't mean it's 212 degrees. And what happens is pathogens can still survive then in that canning process if you don't maintain that 212 degrees and you could get botulism. Not a good thing. Now this shows you what water boils at what temperature. So, you know, 212 up to 1,000 above sea level, 208 up to 2,000, 204 up to 4,000, and all the way at the top, only at 194 degrees at 10,000. Now, where do you find your altitude? Well, you can call your local cooperative extension office and they have that information, or you can go online. Uh, what I like is whatsmyelevation.com and it wants us to enter a location. Oh, let's The address for the White House is 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest, Washington District of Columbia, 20500. So we'll put in the address of the White House and see what it says. So the White House is only 59 feet above sea level. So is there a difference between the weighted gauge pressure canners and the dial pressure canners? Yes, there is. Now, I have an All-American, so you can see it has a dial, but this isn't really what we use. What we use is the weight goes over here. But if you're using a Presto, very often it is a dial gauge canner. And there are differences. Dial gauge pressure canners allow you to increase the pressure at lower increments. Whereas if you're using one of these weights, it's only in five pounds of pressure increments. If you're using a dial gauge, it is in one unit increase. So let's look at this guide here. It is showing the difference here. If you are zero to 1,000, weighted gauge is at a 10, or dial gauge is at 11. But right at 1,000 or more, weighted gauge canners are using 15 and stay at that all the way up to 10,000. But dial gauge, for pounds of pressure is still 11 between 1 and 2,000 and it doesn't go up to 15 until it hits that 8,000. It's going 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there definitely is a difference. So we've talked a lot about pressure canning, but does your elevation matter 
when you're water bath canning. Again, yes, it does. It increases your processing time depending on your elevation. If you look at this chart here, it shows that if you're one to 3,000, you've got increased your processing time to five minutes. And if you're all the way between eight and 10,000 above sea level, you are gonna to have to increase your processing time to 20 minutes. So if you have a recipe, which is based on under a thousand above sea level, then you wanna, if it's at 10 minutes and you're at 2,000 to 3,000, you would actually process for 20 minutes. Now remember, the default for most pressure canning recipes is sea level to 1000. So make sure what recipe you're following will be right for your area. And you have to kind of be careful because some, like maybe Utah, where there are higher elevations, might have the recipes based for their elevation, not your elevation. So do your research and make sure you are canning with the correct weight or up to the correct gauge. Now, one of my questions is, you know, on this weight, it's got five, it's got 10, it's got 15. I have never ever used the five pounds pressure. So what is it used for? Okay, I found out. So for canning some fruits such as peaches here, you could process it in your pressure canner, but to me, Water bath canning, a little easier considering that you got a, in your pressure canner, yeah, it might be shorter processing time, but you got to bring it up to temperature and then bring it back down before you get your jars out. So I'll never use this five pound weight. In conclusion, know your altitude. Read your canner's manual and always, always practice safe canning methods. Thank you. I appreciate you watching this video. Again, if you wanna have more canning, frequently asked questions, I have the playlist down below. And as always, happy canning.